All right. Hello, everyone. Shalom, shalom. And peace of the Lord to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Am I heard? All right. How is my voice? Is doing better? The less you drink coffee and the less you talk is going to be better. <laughs> It's not uh, like a hard chemical. Anyway, uh, today we are going to explore the intelligence of the God of Islam, Allah. And we hope we will get some Muhammadans here, you know, uh, to help us to, uh, to explore how smart Allah. Uh, in YouTube, there's a Muslim, he just joined the chat right away. He says, your mother vagina. <laughs> <laughs> demonic satanic people i mean he just he just entered the chat i mean youtube just started and right away he says your mother vagina in arabic i mean look how filthy trashy demonic this cult unbelievable how filthy garbage it is uh, <clears throat> and you know the funny is it doesn't matter how satanic it is, people are stupid. It doesn't matter <clears throat> how much you show them, people still are stupid. Still they think this is uh, Islam is a good religion, and uh, Muslim they believe in something good, and even some of them they believe that Muslim have better ethic than other religions. Absolutely. <clears throat> Uh, yesterday, actually, I was speaking to a lady. She converted to Islam, and her mother, she asked me to speak to her. I asked her, why you converted to Islam? She did not tell me why. And what she said, that she knew nothing about Islam. And here you ask yourself, why someone will convert to such a garbage cult? And yet this person know nothing. Based on what I learned, that most of those who convert to Islam are the stupid ones. Uh, they are just looking for some kind of a social... They have a social problem, like they have a vacuum in their life. And they find that in the uh, Muslim uh, society, that in that society, if they convert to Islam, they will become superstars. So everybody will praise them and everybody, you know, they will treat them differently for sure from someone who is born as a Muslim. So they are not converting really because they knew, you know. And then, you know, even though yesterday my voice is not good, but I decided to help her. She started asking me, tell me about yourself. I said, why do I want to tell you about myself? I mean, I'm here to help you about Islam. So even she, she was trying to avoid the topic, which why she converted to Islam. So I keep asking her the same question, trying to open a conversation with her to show her that if there is reasons made her convert to Islam, those reasons are invalid. She refused to give me any reason. Because she don't have any. And here you notice that families <clears throat> who they think, you know, my daughter is doing fine. Uh, my daughter now she go to school. Uh, now she have a job. And she is beautiful. And that supposedly make her smart. How good looking your son or your daughter doesn't make them smart? It might be the opposite. In fact, I noticed that most stupid people are, the most stupid people is the, is the most good looking. I notice the more good looking you are, the more low IQ you are. Now, this is not the case necessarily, but I notice because I think there is a reason for that. When you are good looking, you are so proud of yourself because of the way you look like. So you, you you know, you don't care for things to learn, etc. Because wherever you go, because of your look, 
people praise you because people are stupid. People praise a person for a look, not because he deserves to be praised. And because a human being, society, is a bunch of stupid people, like today in, uh, when I'm drinking my coffee, YouTube show me, suggest to me to watch uh, Beauty Queen, you know. And I look at those beauty queens and I saw a bunch of, I, I don't want to use bad language, but simply those are the girls who will work in escort very soon. All those beauty queen, uh, you know, competition is nothing but prostitution business. But people praise them, they spend hundreds of millions to make those occasions. It's a big business. And TVs around the world, they will, you know, transmit the occasion. They make money, a lot of money just from the TV, people watching around the world. <clears throat> you know, the interest of the man is tenure with the qualification of the man. And now each country of those who, uh, you know, their daughter became, or the country, you know, they become a beauty queen. They are going to be so proud, amazingly proud. The country, the prime minister, the president, uh, the king will shake hands with them, will take pictures with them. Beauty queens, but empty headed. <clears throat> you know, for me, what I see in those beauty queens is nothing but nakedness and prostitute. They collect them from around the world. And there's a company, they invest in one person, they want this person to be the, the they call her the queen. And then they make a lot of money from her back. And she make money from her from their back. But it's nothing but prostitution. Same, you know, the rest is the same. The mankind, they invest on, <clears throat> in silly stuff, you know, but nobody invests in the brain. Do we have any Muslim would like to join us? The beauty queens. <laughs> Miss Universe, I'm, I'm looking now just to show in the screen so we can love. Miss Universe, Miss Universe. I... <laughs> I find it really hilarious, you know. <clears throat> Miss Universe, India, in Bombay. You know, India, man, there's people, they are dying from hunger. People have no jobs. People are sleeping in the street. And yet, we are so much excited to see Miss Universe in India. Oh boy. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> uh, I don't, you don't know what to say, really. I mean, it's really stupid. And people worship those stuff. You know, just give them some food to chew in. Yeah. And this is what Allah actually did. You see how Allah, he seduced Muslims to believe in him. He told them, in heaven we have a 72 at least, a beauty queen waiting for you. The most beautiful women in the universe live in India. I'm moving to India immediately. I mean, look at the look at the level of the conversation. Who care what they you know what you know? <laughs> Let me tell you, the most beautiful woman in India. She will not be your wife. Bad news to you. You're an idiot. <laughs> Oh boy. 
So I don't know what they are proud about. I don't know how stupid a human being is, but I can confirm to you that the human being, he beat the stupidity itself. You know, I mean, psh, stupidity is amazing. Like, yeah, the most beautiful women live in my country. You will not even get close to her. She is only available to the billionaires because she is a decent woman, you know? Do you know why only billionaires, they can have her in their table like a dish? Because she is a very decent woman. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Oh boy. And look at them. Fake lips, fake nose, fake eyes, fake everything fake. And God knows what is el else is fake. Anyway, let us change this picture, otherwise, that will bring a lot of hands. Let us put something more attractive. I know that this will bring a lot. If I make now my topic, the beauty queen, if I change the title of my video, beauty queen. Why, why we don't call them like the, the nicest ass? Isn't this what it's about? Seriously. Why they why they lie in the name? Why don't say the nicest ass, the nicest breast, the nicest, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's nothing but sexual. Yeah. Imagine you make, a, you make, a, you know, a saying for men. And I, I, I think there is, you know. <laughs> Oh boy. <clears throat> uh, uh, a Muslim saying, Why God in the Bible is a deceiver? Why you don't join me so we can read together and love? Do you like to join me? Mr. Abdul? You know, the funny is, one of the names of Allah is Al-Mudil. And a Muhammadan is speaking about the Bible is God is deceiver. <laughs> Your God name is a deceiver. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Do we have any brave Abdul? Have you ever heard of a god? His name is Deceiver. Your god name is Al Mudil. Challenge me and come to the stage. Same time, we can read the verse from the Bible you mentioned. What say you? Who there? And you know what? If you win, we will make you the beauty queen of heaven of Allah. What do you think? Or if you are not, you don't like to be the female, uh, you will get the 72 beauty queen who they have, you can see the marrow of their bones. <clears throat> Somebody saying we cannot trust women these days. Yeah, yeah, but we can't trust men, right? <laughs> like the women are bad, but men are good. I get, I like that. Women are bad. Men are good. But remember, women, they cannot be bad unless men are bad. <laughs> if there is a prostitute, because there is a buyer, and that is the man. Don't blame the women. Alone? Hmm. All right. <clears throat> All right. Any Muhammadan would like to join us? We are trying to explore the intelligence of Allah. Like you know here, 
I notice that Allah is so intellect and he found that we can fix a family problem by beating the wife that's amazing so now you beat your wife your wife she love you and she will never cheat on you you just beat her and that will solve any problem any Muslim want to explore the intelligence of Allah what solution Allah is asking us to do? How, if we beat the wife, that will make our life better? Many Muslim. Any Muhammadan? No Muhammad in these days. Any Ramadan? The stupid American, they are sending food in Ramadan to the terrorist. <laughs> the stupid Joe Biden. We pay tax, they send it to the terrorist. And you know, by the, by the way, they say to you that people in Gaza, they are refugee. Did you see their villas? Did you see their houses? Did you see their apartments? Who of you in America have like those? They have a free schools, free, a free medical, and even their houses, they don't pay for it. <laughs> and a free food. Don't, don't forget, they are refugee, brother. They are refugee. Stupid American. They have homeless in their streets, and they send their money to people who hate you most. This is how dumb this stupid country is. Yeah, we are live right now. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muslim would like to volunteer? There are Christian there too. Trust me, the Christians are the last one who will get the benefit. Same time, there's a few hundred of the Christians. There's a Christian there too. Now you remember the Christian there. Are you sure? No, there is no Christian there. They live like dogs there. Do you think those assistant they will reach the hand of the little tiny minority? Do you think even they will allow them to take any of that food? In those areas, the one who controlled everything is gangs. Gangs of families. There's big tribal fams families. And they control parties like Hamas or a Jihad. So they are the one who distribute the food. They are the one who put their hand on it. And the one who they like, they give him the food. The one they don't like, you don't have anything. So don't think any of this will go to the Christians. Ah, oh, okay. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to help me? I want to get married and I'm trying to understand how I can treat my wife. Why if I beat my wife, that will make my life better? Who is a Muslim want to help us with the intelligence of Allah? And you look, you know, if you change, change the translation, you will find the Muslim, they add things like in different translation, they say first, second, a third, uh, and then they add uh, uh, and beat them lightly. You see some translation, they say, beat them lightly. <laughs> hey, Muslims, is your God Allah is doing fetish now? Is he like a sadist, like the women in the bed and she like to be spanked? Huh? What do you mean lightly? Any Muhammadan? Mm. Who is a Muslim would like to join us? If there's any Muslim? How is my voice doing? <clears throat> Does it sound better or is it still bad? I bought those candies, supposedly are good for 
the voice, but I don't think they do much, and they are expensive actually. I hate to eat candies, but I, you know, I just start taking them, hoping that this will help. Here we go, I put my one in my mouth. <coughs> Any Mohammedan? <coughs> And what if my wife, she is so big, you know, and you you go to some countries like in Egypt, you will see women, they are so huge. I mean, literally. And the man is so small. How in the world he can beat her? I mean, she can, if she sit in the top of him, she will make him homos. How we can deal with such a woman? If there's any solution in the Quran? Muslims? What if she is so big? One fart, she will make you shish kebab. Actually, in Morocco <coughs> and uh, South uh, uh, North Africa, uh, there is an association or like, uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, to defend men right against violence. <laughs> uh, women in Morocco, they are beating their husband severely. I'm not joking. Like I will show you. You might think I'm, I'm joking or something. No. Let me show you. The problem with those websites, you know, they, they have tons of commercial, like you cannot even show it. Hold on, let us see if we can avoid the commercial. Maybe we will take a screenshot. Or maybe it will work, let us see. All right. I will share my screen with you in a second. So yeah, in the in the Middle East, men, women beat them severely, and you know those women are very well equipped with special kind of weapon and you know crazy stuff like high heels. You know, uh, they have terrorism training. They terrify men. Okay, translate this page to English. All right. Let us share the screen with you. Okay, is my screen showing? You see it? Thousands of Moroccan men are looking for refuge to protect them from domestic violence. <laughs> I like it. The quote here it says, the Moroccan uh, Association to Defend Men Who They Are Victims of Domestic Violence. Yeah. 
Praise be to Allah. So now what we will do? The Quran says beat them, beat women. The Moroccan says we beat men. Hmm? There is actually some pictures if I show you, see how many men, they are heavily injured, you know, in their face and their head. You can see even the high heels mark, you know. Or like this guy, he was a victim of a, of an oil fryer. This guy is a victim of a, a, the garlic smasher. The other guy is a victim of, a, a, you know, all kind of kitchen tools. And Allah says to us in the Quran, beat them. Man. Do we have any Muhammadan? Only one? I see people they are discussing, discussing now in the chat big women and small men. <laughs> this is not our topic, but anyway, whatever. Do we have any Muhammadan? <clears throat> any Muhammadan? Error UT. You go ahead, error. Let me be sure that my sound is on. Go ahead. Yeah, is my voice clear? Yeah, your voice is clear. Go ahead. Yes. Actually, what is the topic? What is the topic? Are you a Muslim? No. So why you join us? Okay, take take a hike. I mean, imagine somebody sit in the table to discuss with us, but you don't even know what the topic. No wonder your name is Error. It was an error to bring you here, brother. No? Lord have mercy. Like, what is the topic? Okay, let's talk. Uh-huh. You know the song, like this Russian song, like, I will join the conversation, uh-huh. I don't know what that topic, uh-huh. Ma, 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 da, 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 da. So we jump, you know, we go, let, let us talk. What the topic, who care? <clears throat> anyway, do we have any Mohammedan here? We want Mohammedan. Do we have any Muhammadan? By the way, congratulations Muslims, the month of Ramadan is coming and you will get fat. <laughs> you know, lying to you, they say in Ramadan, they fast and they, so what they do? They, uh, you know, like they don't eat supposedly. In fact, in Ramadan, they get so fat and they eat a lot and the the price of food skyrocketing crazy in the Middle East. Anyone? The pagan month of Ramadan. The month of eating. I want to tell you, CP. I want to tell you something, CP. Do you know, CP, I feel my heart, why? If about Muslim, I don't like make husband of boyfriend because I feel he is my brother or like boyfriend like that CP uh, EN you know what I did read the Quran a hundred times thousand times I think the verse you just made is more confusing what you just said CP I want to tell you something uh, now 
Do you know CP? I feel my heart. Why if I bought Muslim? I don't like make husband of boyfriend uh, because I feel he is my brother or like boyfriend like that CP. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you beat Allah now. What the heck is that? Take it easy, okay? I don't know what the food you are eating, but I have no idea what you are saying. Anyway. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? I will focus on the Quran better than the chat. People say in the chat crazy stuff. I have no idea what they are saying. Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan can give me something smart? Forget about this stupid thing in the Quran about beating the women. Can you give me something smart? Any Muhammadan? Just one thing is smart in the Quran. Mayday, mayday. How is the sound of Rumble and in YouTube? Is everything is good for you guys? Do you hear me? And Rumble, Christian Prince, I want to clear one thing about you said so many times. Aisha was 14, you, when she got her first period. Can you show me the reference? No, I did not say that. I said Aisha. She was 14 and still she didn't have her period. Uh, yeah. Go, Rico. Yes, uh, I'm Christian, but uh, you know, um, in my family, I have a cousin. He's sorry to be a uh, Muslim. Oh, okay. What do you think about Muhammad? I don't like him. I I watch all your videos for Jamal's now. Okay. <laughs> Why you don't bring your family member, the one who see like Islam, uh, to join us here? I could, but today he's not here. He's working, I think, or school, you know. All right. When you when you, ha when you have him back, let me know. Okay. When you can invite him, let me know. All right. Thank you. Can I ask his question? Uh, go ahead. He, he's Muslim because he's convinced uh, from the verse from uh, you know the mountains. From what? the mountains. From the mountains? Oh, yeah, how Allah created the mountains. Ah, how that convinced him? Tell me. I don't know. He told me I want to be Muslim because uh, the verse uh, makes sense. How Allah created the world. But I already watched your video. I know it's not the case. Hmm. Well, the stupid Allah in the Quran, Akka Muhammad, he claimed that the mountains, Allah, he put it in the top of the earth. So how that is the convincing? If there is any scientist says that earth was there and then mountains came from the sky and they placed them in the top of it? No, not at all. Yeah. You see he here. Thinks, he thinks the Big Bang is true. He, he think what? He, the Big Bang. You know, the, I know you don't like the Big Bang. No, no, no. Yeah. But there is no Big Bang in the Quran. When yeah, the Muslim they say... I, 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 yeah. Yeah. You already showed that. Yeah. If you read all the verses about uh, uh, about the mountains, you will see that the one who created the Quran is an idiot. Uh, uh, there is there is nobody you know can see uh, how stupid. Like all the verses about mountains are uh, proven Islam to be stupid. But if there is any. Uh, like as an example, according to Allah, chapter 24, verse number 43, in the sky there's mountains of hail. And he sent hail from it down to earth. Now, the Muslims, in order to fix it, they lie and they say like. You see the word like? <laughs> How come people are coming right away and they are any mute? Anybody change the rules in the server? So do you see Rico? Yes, I see. It says yeah. send, send from the sky. If you change the translator, you will see how the lie 
will be exposed. Yeah, I know that. I know yeah. that. Every time you change the, the traduction, the translation, sorry. Yeah. They, they are. They add words. They take out some words. Exactly, because because uh, without doing that, that will expose the Quran. He sent down out of heaven mountains. In fact, this is still not right. St he sent out out of mountains in heaven, wherein is here. This is what the Quran is saying. So going back to, to mountains, if we search for the word mountain in the Quran, we will find that how Allah He created the mountains, how He placed it, and then you will see that every verse speaking about the mountains is proving again that Allah is a stupid. In chapter in chapter in chapter thirty five, it says, "Hasn't you seen how Allah sent down from heaven water? Uh, therewith." We bring forth fruits and the uh, diverse uh, use, and in the mountains are strikes. This is false. He sent down from heaven water, which will come from it or through it, uh, fruits, and he sent down from heaven mountains, which is white and red and etc. And those colors are colors exist in the in the territory of Muhammad. People notice how rocks can be different if you go in the desert in the Arabian Peninsula. So you will see some rocks are uh, red, some rocks are white, like uh, depend in the uh, in the in the nature of the rocks. So according to the stupid Quran, Allah He sent down mountains from heaven. This is why in different verses, if we go here uh, in chapter in chapter seventy eight, it says. Allah, He insert the mountains and earth. When we know the opposite, mountains are not nails in the earth. Mountains is coming from the crust through the pressure of the tectonic plate. Mountains forms either by the pressure of the tectonic plate or by the pressure of volcanoes, the magma. So the mountains actually is formed from deep inside the earth. This is why scientists want to study Deep the earth, they do not need to get to dig deep. They kind of study the mountain nature because this same mount was used to be uh, down in earth one day. So the more pressure, the more this mount will grow. So it will start small and bigger and bigger and bigger by time. So the Quran is saying the opposite. The Quran, Allah, uh, He placed the mountains in the top of the earth. He say the same about uh, chapter 88, uh, uh, verse number 19. So Allah, He placed the mountains in the top of the earth. And you can, each time as usual, you change the translator, you will see totally different meaning, you know, for the verse, uh, depend of how the, the mood of the translator. And you cannot trust really. But, and the hills, how Allah, He set it up, uh, no sivat is set up, but set up from the top, like not set up, like you place something in the top. And here how the earth became a flat, the verse after it. And here Allah, he wrote the word musaytir in Arabic wrong, you know. So, yeah, like there is musaytir and musaytir was sought. So Allah do not even know how to write, how to read. Anyway. Talking about writing, uh, I have another question. <clears throat> uh -huh. You know, uh, you did a video of um, the story about Abu, um, you know, the, the writer of the Quran who, put, who insert a word in the Quran and uh, he left Islam. Yeah. Do you have another story like that? Uh... I think uh, there is other stories, but it's not the same exactly. But there is people who left Islam because they notice Muhammad is uh, is a manipulator and he's a liar. As an example, when Muhammad uh, he claimed that he went to Jerusalem at night, uh, many they left Islam. Uh, when Muhammad he uh, 
because he failed to describe Jerusalem, how it looked like. They asked him how Jerusalem looked like. Uh, Muhammad, he claimed, uh, sorry, not claim, he did bow down to the three daughters of Allah. And this is the verses about satanic verses. Many yeah. people left Islam. But the one about uh, the, the scribe, it's about Abdullah ibn Sarah. And he was a private scribe and he is the brother of Uthman, the caliphate. So when he noticed Muhammad is adding words, he just said himself to the Quran just because he like it. Right away he noticed that Muhammad is a fraud. Because he is just a scribe and he, he Muhammad told him to write this in the, uh, as a Quran. And then when he when Muhammad finished, he liked what Muhammad said. So he said, he said, blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad, he said to him, put it down. The guy said to him, put down what? He said, what you just said. But he said to him, but Prophet, uh, I am the one who said that. He said, it came to me as it came to you. <laughs> yeah, when so, he told that story, I was shocked. Yeah. Anyway, brother, let us give a chance for Muslims to join us. Okay. Yeah, and if you want to bring your cousin, he is more than welcome. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. Do we have any Muslim? Any Muhammad would like to join us? You know, when Muhammad, he copied this man's story, blessed be Allah, the best of the creators, and he put it in the Quran, he destroyed himself again. Because now the Muslim, they can't say there's only one creator. Islam is a very stupid cult. In one hand, they claim to be monotheist. In the other hand, now the Quran teaching, there's many creators. A Muslim will say to you, no, 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 like, don't you create a bicycle? A human being, what, this is about creators, and it's speaking about creating what? Creating children, creating babies. What uh, innovation is not a creation? We are talking about a creation of, of life. And the Quran gives us definition for what is a creation, what is not. And here you see another stupid statement from Muhammad. Muhammad, he uh, confirmed that the one who you worship, you should not worship them unless at least can create a fly. Hello? Hi, sorry. I had a question, but I uh, can wait till you're done. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm a Christian. All right. Uh, it was just about because I was uh, debating with a friend and he's uh, Shia, mm -hmm. and he said we reject all hadiths that not that is not from uh, Imam Ali, and I don't know any hadith from Imam Ali. So <laughs> you can give me a book name, Najul book or something, Najul Baraga or something. The Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, the highest I know they have, they have Al Kafi, they have. Uh, yeah, but they have, the Muslim uh, Shia, they have more stupid hadith than the Muslim Sunni, you know? I know, I, I feel like I've read something, he's explained like a god, basically, Imam Ali. You know, the, the, the Shia, they believe Ali, they believe Ali and his family, they are not a human, they are light in the forehead of Allah, and he sent them down to earth in the form of a human, they are not a human. Uh, however, <laughs> There's tons of stupid, crazy stuff in the Shia book more than the Sunni. Like, you know, as an example, uh, the Shia, they believe if you have sex with your wife and you look at her vagina, uh, her, uh, your son will be mute. If you look at her anus, he will be deaf. Uh, if you, yeah, if you, if you wear white, uh, yellow shoes, uh, your penis will be strong. If you wear black shoes, your penis will not function. Uh, Ali and Hussein, they speak like uh, uh, 70 something million languages. Uh, Ali can be in China and he's in Japan, but yet he is in Damascus at the same time. So uh, Shia, they have millions of stupid stories. I mean, I, I cannot find even something funny for entertaining more than the Shia hadith. <laughs> but are, are these in like, where, where can I find, is this hadith in, uh... Whose books are 
شيعة بحديث the most authentic the most authentic uh, Shia books is the one I wish I can play for you videos but because we are broadcasting in YouTube you, then, <coughs> then you will uh, you will die laughing at uh, at uh, the stupidity you know yeah uh, okay. like al, can, al, al, -Mahdi, al, al Mahdi Al Mahdi will come will come back and he is naked Al Mahdi when he was a child if he fell in his ass he don't fart and he say Allah <laughs> each each time yeah and his mother she gave birth to him from her thigh not from her vagina uh, this one I heard, yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, uh, like, uh, as an example, uh, if you eat until you are not hungry no more, uh, you will have leprosy. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you wash with the dishes or you eat in the dishes of Egyptian, you will become a pimp. You know? Uh, Jesus Christ. But the, uh, what what, what you said? What you said? Jesus Christ. What does that mean? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is that? What 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 do you mean? Jesus Christ. What you're saying? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's meant to be as. Uh, please help me. Okay. I can't. Uh, I can't deal with this. All right. Because some they use this no. word as a curse. Okay. No, no, no. I don't. All right. uh, no, it's not. All right. Uh, but uh, I have one question more because I feel they they follow the hadiths that are from Muhammad, right? The Shia. So, yeah, so Shia, have Shia are very hypocrite. Shia are very hypocrite. They accept yeah. any hadith in the Muslim Sunni books as long as it support their ideology. So they are liars. When they say we don't accept the Sunni, that's not true. If a hadith support Shiaism, they uh -huh. accept it. Yeah. Okay, and then it was just a quick question. Yeah. Okay, continue. I will uh, keep listening. Godspeed. All right, thank you very much. Bye. Uh, like one of the wisdoms of the Shia, if you eat watermelon in the morning, you will have what they call it in English, like if somebody suddenly became disabled, you know, like a man, he become disabled suddenly. I'm not sure what they say. So imagine if you eat. Uh, uh, watermelon, you know, stroke, stroke, but became disabled, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's really mental, you know, this is just stupid. Uh, so they have tons of uh, stupid stories and uh, Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? If there is a Shia here would like to join us, you know, and you don't believe in what we said, we can show you endless reference of stupid things in your books. I can say, if I want to compare stupid stupidity between Shia and Sunni, I can say that the Shia, they are the, the kings of madness when it's come to the hadith. I mean, all the stupid things Muhammad said in the in the Sunni books is not even like maybe it doesn't get like four to ten compared to Shia. <clears throat> uh, the Shia believe that all the Imams they don't uh, their their piss and their shit is holy. And it smell like musk. And the one who drink from their uh, shit or eat their shit or uh, drink their piss, uh, you know, he like uh, he is doing the the perfect medicine or let us say uh, the right thing to do, you know. Uh, let us see. Someone saying, show us the reference about Aisha. Aisha should not have her period at the age of 14, no. But 
there's no confirmation of that but Aisha she was playing with the dolls at the age of 14 because she didn't have her period yet at that time <clears throat> I will show you the reference which reference I should show you guys you change topic in the speed of light From the Shia to the Sunni, nobody is focusing with me. <clears throat> How come people are joining right away and they are any mute? If there is something changed in our server? I pushed the button. Ah, okay, but it should be mute automatically as I know. Okay, give me a second, K, because I want to show this person here the reference. Yes, sir. All right. Are you almost done, K? No, no, no. I, I almost converted to Islam, so I had some questions. Almost? Almost? Yes, you definitely helped me. Oh, okay, but you know what? I mean, I don't know. You're missing a lot. Don't you want to have the versions and you have endless penis? No, um, really? one thing that helped me, uh -huh. one thing that helped me is looking at the character of Jesus and Muhammad and figuring out which one I wanted to follow. I don't know, but if I am you, I will think carefully again. I mean, all of us would like to have endless penis because I can sign a contract with Microsoft or Elon Musk to run internet to behind the galaxy. They can use it as a cable for internet, you know? Yeah. Okay, I'm just looking for the reference for this uh, gentleman who asked me, and I will be right with you. Uh, let us see. I have the hadith in front of me, actually, but uh, uh, I'm trying to find it for you in English. Uh, however, if we could not... I am sure it is located in English. I saw it in this website before. Uh, but maybe you need to find it. Let's see here. Uh, if we change the search. You see, you guys, if you if, if some of you help me and save reference when we pause them. For me, I don't I don't save because I do not need to, you know. Uh, you will you will uh, save time. Let us see. You see, this website is not really good. Uh, like when you search for something, I don't I don't memorize uh, the numbers. I memorize the hadith. So this is why it makes look. You know, you search for something, it shows you anything connected to the. It doesn't show you exact sentence, no. Very bad. Uh, anyway, I, I will post the hadith in Arabic. You can use Google Translation. Um, and let me see. I will give it one more try. <clears throat> Let us see here. All right, I don't know. I cannot find the English one, but so I will uh, uh, I will post for you the reference, so you can use Google Translation and you translate. Let us see here. <clears throat> yeah, 
you can open this link and here they have tons of reference about the topic and you can choose the one you are looking for but you have to use Google translation but I am sure that the uh, about Aisha age 14 is mentioned in that uh, oh, I cannot post it in YouTube the link is so long and not a ramble yeah, and ramble it goes, I think. Do you see guys a ramble? Is the link coming to you in ramble? Mm, I hope so. All right, okay, go ahead. Your mic. Um, yes, I, I have a couple of questions. Says when I before I almost left Christ and converted, I was getting questions about um, Islam and how the Quran is written and a lot of times, one thing that really swayed me away from it, I'll see someone asking a question from a Bible verse, and if you go back for five verses beforehand or five verses after, it explains the whole context. But then I'll, when I look at the Quran, only, you know, every verse is by itself, and the whole Quran is out of order. At least for the Bible, it's generally, you know, in a well-placed order, and, con you know, when they talk about the Israelites, it talks about what happened to them just before the following verse. But the Quran, from what I understand, is from longest to shortest, and it's clear about order. So I was questioning the reason for it. You see, first of all, the Quran never was a book, and there's no verses. All of those, when the Muslims they decide to make a book, they, they copy the Bible. Uh, so they add numbers. Muhammad, he never said like verse number three, verse number four. He didn't say even this is a verse. So the Quran is a fabricated book trying a counterfeit of the Bible. So now they have chapter. They have verse. But nowhere Muhammad, he says, gave those numbers or even the names. This is why you, you might find the same chapter have many names. Depend in which Quran you are reading. Uh, same time, because Muhammad, he did not write uh, or he did not receive, as you said, uh, things in order. He did not receive it in order anyway. Muhammad is just a fool. Uh, he decided like now, and uh, Allah, he gave me this verse about Abraham. Ten hours later, he mentioned something about Israel. Uh, a day after he mentioned something about Jesus. A day after he mentioned something about the Arab. So now the Muslims are going to be to put them in a in in order, but there's no order because they are not connected anyway. Like if you go to chapter as an example, chapter eighteen. Uh, how chapter eighteen is made in the same chapter. You know, you ask yourself, what is exactly the topic? If you go to the chapter, it says the Kiev. Okay. What is the Kiev? Oh, there is a bunch of guys who they are in the Kiev and they live in the Kiev. But then we start reading, you will find where, where we come find the Kiev story. Suddenly, here we go, the Kiev. And then after that, you will see the story changed to something else. And then after that, the story changed to something else. And the story changed to something else. And then if you read it carefully, any of those stories, you will find that those are fiction stories written by either the Christians or, uh, or uh, uh, people coming from Persia. As an example, the seven sleepers here about the caves. Uh, Muhammad, even he failed to give him the question, somebody asked him, Prophet, how many people they were in the cave? Muhammad, he cannot give the number. So what he do? If I am not sure, I will give you an answer, which is not an answer. So people cannot go after me and say, hey, you gave the wrong answer. It's like I say to you, uh, which one is, like when you go to an exam, they say to you, which one is the correct population for <clears throat> Indonesia? 200 million, 250, or 300 million. Choose one. One of them is right. Muhammad is not even sure if one of them is right or not. He don't know. 
So what you do? You will see it says, some they say their number is three and their dog is number four. Some they say uh, uh, they are four and their dog is number five. Some they say, uh, etc. Some they say, some they say, and then say, Allah knows only the, their numbers. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that helps clarify a lot for me because, like, even a couple of days ago, you were talking about somewhere in chapter four, I think it was, that's basically what would be the end of the Quran. That's all the way in chapter four. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, about Akmal uh, Tulakum Dinakum. I complete your religion for you. Uh, uh, chapter 5 so uh, uh, but here this verse alone actually is enough to prove Muhammad to be a fraud first there's a language mistake you know uh, they will say they were you see the word some is not even in the Quran some is not in the Quran will say which is a broken language they were three and their dog is number fourth. In which language you count the dog as number fourth? I want to know. How? I see what you're saying. Yeah, because... That, that, that leads to my other question. Like, why do you have to know Arabic to understand the Quran? Because like, for, the, for us in the Bible, it helps to understand Greek and Hebrew to understand the Bible. But this is no, you know, not only that, scared, but... this is a stupid because in Arabic we don't say and the fourth is, number, is, a, is a dog. Because the dog is not a human. I, you can say three children and their father, and the fourth is their father because he's a human too. But you don't say the fourth is a dog. A dog is a dog. You can say three human, one dog. You can't say and number four is the dog. That is a stupid. And then, and some they say five and their dog is a six. Okay. Uh, but anyone notice something missing here? You know, five and their dog is number six. Three and their dog is number four. Shouldn't we say now, four and their dog is number five? <laughs> and then some they say there are five and their dog is six. Guessing at random, some say they are seven. And their dog is number eight. Oh, Muhammad, tell them, uh, 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 my Lord is the best aware of their number. <laughs> so what is the answer? <laughs> I see what you're saying. He just avoids the uh, Yeah, I mean, altogether. as long as this is the issue. So what the point of telling me? Some they say, some they say, if you will not even tell me the number. What is the number? We are waiting. So are they seven? Are they three? Are they four? I mean, this is the mo this is the book of God, and, and, not, and, and not only like not only that. Look what he says: My Lord, no best their number. What best their number? If there's a best their number. Should say their numbers, and then and none knows them. But if you you just say it, Allah, my Lord, and now few. <laughs> None know them, but if you is that a secret? Is that like a nuclear weapon? We need to hide it so nobody knows, so they can use it for for like a, 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 you know for attack or war. Is that a black magic? Just tell us the stupid number, man. So and now it turned to be not only Allah knows them, fews, more few. So what's the point of this verse? Nothing. What what we learn from this? This is a fiction story written by a Christian a priest in Syria about be patient, we are discriminated, time will come and we will be victorious. So he wrote a fiction story about people who sleep in a cave for 300 years and, you know, uh, and the angel, he opened his arms. And this is, you know, uh, uh, and this is why uh, uh, if you go, uh, you will see that Muhammad claiming, because Muhammad an idiot, the story says, Kali'ahum. Muhammad, he says, Kalbahum. Kalbahum, which means dogs. But the one was in the, uh, 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 the one was in the story, 
is not a dog it's an angel an army is coming to after them to kill those seven sleepers so an angel of God he opened his arms to block the cave and protect them here in the story suddenly the word Kali'ahom which means protector become a dog Kalbahom and the dog stretch his two arms not two and a fourth of his two legs this is false translation in Arabic it says Zira'ayhi and everybody knows dogs don't have two arms dogs are animals they have four legs so the stupid Muhammad he did not copy the word correctly from the story instead of Kali Ahum he made it Kalbahum and he copy exactly the second part he opened his arms but now it is about a dog and dogs don't have arms same time who is the stupid who will believe that an army and a king is coming after those people will be protected by a dog any Muslim can believe in that do you think a dog can stop an army any Muhammadan so the story is a stupid he is copying a story from other people and he failed again to give the numbers until now only few know the numbers well we know the numbers this is the story of the seven sleepers and Muhammad is nothing but a fraud and if you continue to Quran and all funny stories you know Muhammad is just an ear as the Quran in chapter 9 verse number 61 the the Arab describe him they said he is an ear what the word ear mean he hears stories he make it from his God he's a fraud and the Quran confirmed how and the funny is the Muslim they say to you that the Arab in the time of Muhammad when they hear the Quran they were amazed but as you see no they were not they were laughing at Muhammad nobody was amazed nobody saw the Quran as a miracle they always laugh at it in fact they say to him if we want to make Quran like this we can make even better this is not even a poetry it's a broken Arabic language and even when the Muslim they start singing the Quran they were copying the Christian chanting in order to make the Quran sound better anything else I have, a, I have a quick question uh -huh. so do they consider how, how should I say this David from the Bible we don't consider him in flat fallible he was beloved by the Lord but we, we ask her to say that he committed sin. The only one, one who never sinned or did anything wrong was Jesus Christ. But every time you say that uh, the Prophet Muhammad committed a, a crime or a sin, the Muslims are quick to say that he did it and then he did no wrong. So did they consider him infallible or was the deal? You know? Muslim, they call Muhammad holy because Muhammad is a terrorist. But the Quran say the opposite chapter 48 verse number two as an example it says may Allah forgive your sin the Muslim they try to in translation some translation they say may Allah forgive your fault but the Arabic says it clearly uh, 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 you know, may Allah forgive you Muhammad for your past sin and the coming sin and here you see there's other stupid statement proving that Muhammad is the one fabricating this because he should not say me Allah if the one is talking is Allah and, okay that, that answers it for me then <laughs> thank you yeah all right thank you brother thank you. do we have any Muhammadan any Muhammadan would like to join us may they may they so this gentleman who was almost going to convert to Islam, but he lost his opportunity to get all the versions. I feel sorry for him. I like to con like to convince that to convert to Islam when I'm horny. After that, I will come back Christian. Go to heaven, boom boom, seventy-two women. You know, 
Allahu Akbar, shish kebab. And I will speak the language of people of heaven, which is like this. Brother and sister, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Dakar Naik and I'm coming for the virgin. What is the virgin? Uh, brother, just wait in your turn. Take a ticket and they are getting ready for you. Brother, they're, 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 they're going to go back in time. Because many of the horny and they do with the business. Like Abdul, you have to wait. I mean, don't you see the long line? There's a billion Muslim waiting for the whole, where, where warehouse to deliver the versions. And some of them even, we found that they are not version at all. So we are doing some repair, putting silicone. I went there and then they didn't did, 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 did. what the heck is that so there is versions in heaven brother I'm really convinced and you speak to the Muslim they say to you uh, you know we believe in monotheism you know, who cares your monotheism your God is a pimp man your God he opened a manufacturer making vaginas right now as we speak how many vagina he make a day huh? are they smooth I heard it take him 1,000 years to finish each. I mean, don't you think this is so slow? <laughs> it took 1,000 years just to smooth it. I tried actually to find this hadith in the internet. I could not find it. Uh, I need to, to show it in the physical book. Uh, but imagine this God. It take him 1,000 years to, to smooth the skin of women. I mean, what? She is alligator? How she is a virgin and she is women and she is a pretty and now we need a thousand year i mean go to home depot bring some sanding papers in five minutes you will have her as smooth as you wish look what the heck i'm truly 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 convinced with your heaven i'm going there there's no question about that you like it you don't like it don't even think about it I'm going to heaven. I will say the Shahada. The, and, the, and the Shahada of the Muslims is the most funny, weird. There's no God but Allah. Oof, oof, oof. That's deep. You just said there's no God. I mean, there's no chicken but chicken. What? That is a, like a chemical complex. It sounds like a nuclear. Mm. Anyway, anyway, <clears throat> Islam to proven to be scientifically accurate because Allah, He, uh, Allah. Do you, do you know that the Big Bang is in the Quran? <laughs> like. Uh, well, today somebody mentioned that Big Bang. You know, if you go to the Quran, the Muslim they say, this is brother, the Big Bang in the Quran. I say, Muslims, the only Big Bang I see is in the head of your God and your prophet, man. Look at this. So, the Big Bang is in the Quran and the scientists took them all this time to discover it, yet the stupid scientists, they don't see it, it's in the front of their eyes. Unbelievable. By the sector, the scientists they discovered that the big bang in the Quran, and simply the sector. If you look carefully, in chapter thirty-one, verse number thirty, you see how Allah speaks about the big bang. And the you may mean thousand of years to discover something is written already in Quran forty hundred years ago. What the heck? It's in the Quran? Are you sure? And guys. Look at the Big Bang in the Quran. We'll take one second to find that this is stupid. It says, Don't the disbeliever know that the heaven and the earth were one piece and they are a part of them? It says they knew that already. Do you see it? This is your translation. In Arabic, in fact, it says, Don't they see? So, if they knew it already 1400 years ago, the Arab, the pagan, it says it clearly the disbelievers. Oh, this is the Big Bang. Same time it says, the earth and the heaven, they used to be one piece. Is that what the Big Bang teach? There was earth and there was heaven? And on top of that, this is a contradiction. For all kind of science. Because the earth is inside the space. It's not separated. We are just a little dust in the space. 
what this verse is teaching that Allah he left up the sky above us this is why in different verse it says Saqfan Marfu'an I'm going to start losing my voice again <clears throat> do you see it? So you stupid God, Aka Muhammad, he claimed that the earth used to have the heaven in the top of it, placed on it. And then Allah, he raised it above. And this is absolutely false. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to join us? And look at this Quran. Look, what tour? وكتاب مستور في رق منشور والبيت المأمور ورسول صرصور في القبر مقبور وكلام لا فيه علم ولا نور I just made Quran what is this what the connection what uh, the by the mount okay and uh, the book scribe what is that and uh, the publisher scroll uh, and uh, for a quint house like what the heck and the elevated roof Allah is swearing by all those for what like is that what, is that will make us believe in him now I swear by the cat and the rat I swear by the chicken and Joe Biden I swear what the heck is that and God is swearing I mean, they have a God who swear by the fig. You know, by the way, Muslims, you should not use the Quran to swear in the court. You should bring fig with you. This website is a stupid website. Teen was Zaytun by the fig. I swear, I swear by olive too. I, I swear by sardine. I swear by baklava, by baklava. I swear the God he swear by fig. Why, hey Muslims, what is the relationship between your God and fig? He like fig. I mean, who is a greater? I swear by something greater than me. The God he swear by fig. What about what, Ramina? What do you think about mulberry? Banana? Hmm? And now Allah, after he swear by fig, he proved that he is telling the truth. Imagine, guys, hey, <clears throat> boys. When I say boys, I mean men, okay? If you want your wife to believe you, like I say, you were outside, you were late, you know, and you are not lying, but she don't believe you. You have to swear by something valuable. Tell her, I swear by the fig. I love you, honey. The second you say that, you will receive a high heel shoes in your head. <laughs> we just created the domestic violence crime. Like what? You what? You swear? What you swear, honey? What? 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 What you swear? I swear by fig. I I love you. Oh, okay. What else? I swear by olive. Uh huh. Tell me more. <laughs> Uh, boys, don't do that at home. All right? I was joking, okay? Disclaimer, disclaimer. You know this stupid YouTube. They might say to me, this uh, Christian prince is teaching uh, men to swear by fig. Uh, Bernie Jenner, go ahead. Uh, can you hear me? I do, go ahead. <laughs> He's, he's, he fly. 
I think he swear by fake, so his wife, she, she grabbed him. <clears throat> Don't take me wrong, by the way. I like fake. Actually, I love fake, you know. But I wasn't expecting God to swear by fake. Mm. Imagine Allah, he go to Walmart. And he starts swearing everything in the shelf. I swear by the diver, by the diver, by the diver. I swear by the tissue, by the beer. I swear. Yeah, I just don't understand the reference. Sorry? I, I don't understand the reference. What reference? Uh, swear by the pig, uh, where, where it actually comes from. It's in the front of you on the screen. Don't you see my screen? Oh. Oh. Never mind. I got it now. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Brother, you need to eat more figs. According to Islam, figs will make your eyes sharp. Me, myself, actually, I wasn't intelligent, but I, I ate a lot of fig. And then, do you, do you know why they call it even fig in English? Because when you eat fig, you figure things out. Unbelievable. So I ate fig, and I was able to figure out the Quran. You want to figure things out? Eat fig. And as you see, there's a connection between Allah, Allah in heaven, the creator and the seven heaven. I swear by the fig. <laughs> Where we are going to, brother? Oh boy. Imagine Joe Biden, he became a president. We put a fig in front of him and he said, now take an oath. Mr. President, uh, Joe, they are talking to you. Huh? They are talking to you. You are the president now, not Trump. Uh, why you are looking at Trump? He's not here. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 me. Uh, but Mr. President, put your hand on the fig and swear. Uh, uh, okay. Say, I swear by the fig, I will serve the people from all my fig heart. Uh, I swear by what? Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Joe Biden. In the screen. It says, okay. I swear by the figure, fig, not figure, fig. Okay, I swear by the fig, uh, uh, I will serve a Trump as a president. Trump, 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 forget about Trump. Unbelievable. Do we have any Muslim? Somebody posting my link as for donation in Patreon. Brother, we accept fig as donation. <laughs> Imagine you receive every day a basket of fig coming from who? Donators. Christian Prince, he eat fig and he go online like a lion. Because now he figured out all the secret of the universe. There's a connection between fig and Allah. Any Muslim can tell us why God he swear by fig? And look at this. We created the man in the best design. Are you sure? <laughs> what do you mean best design? <laughs> and then we reduced him to the lowest of the low. You became a cockroach. <laughs> So Muhammad is the lowest of the low? Are you Muslims? Muhammad is the lowest of the low? Are you sure? Isn't it Muhammad a man? Hmm? Any Muhammadan? Yeah, Allah created Adam the best design and he was 60 meters tall. I don't know what happened to us, brother. How we shrunk? Do you think it's the cold? What do you think about Alif Lam Mim? 
Allah knows best. <laughs> the Muslim they say it's a miracle, brother. Alif Lam Mim. Alif is an, a letter, is an Aramaic letter. Lam is an Aramaic letter. Mim, all of this is Aramaic, by the way. Quran is not an Arabic book. By time that they divert, I believe even the Quran, it might most likely is a translated book of an Aramaic book. This is why a lot of words lost in the translation. And then now Muslims do not know what they mean. Do we have any Muhammadan? Alif Lam Mim. Okay, that will open a different topic. However, uh, the Aramaic, who they are super intelligent people, very super, seriously, very, very smart. Uh, they need a code language. And this code language is to avoid sometimes even the enemies. To understand what you are saying. So you can write a letter. And it fell in the hand of the enemy. Still the enemy. Uh, don't understand. So what they did. They gave every number. <coughs> a value. Uh, sorry, every alphabet a value. Let me see if I can share something with you in the screen. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Muslim video. Let us find something else. Yeah, even the Muslim they use that even for their claim of miracle of the Quran, which is absolutely false. We can debunk them so easy. But those numbers, I'm just trying to find the website we can show in the screen. Give me a minute. Let us see. Maybe this one can be easy to show. I mean, every page you open, there's tons of commercial, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. Let us see this one here. Facebook. Not a single website is valid to show in the screen. Let us try something else. <clears throat> Have patience with me. Okay, maybe this one here. <clears throat> so simply, every letter in Arabic, which is taken from the Aramaic, have a value. So Muhammad the fool, he copy uh, 
letters from an Aramaic book. In his book, they mean nothing. And they are equal to nothing. But for the Aramaic, they knew what they are saying. So when they say Alif Lam Mim, what you need to do is to calculate Alif. I don't know if you can see my mouse on the screen. The first letter here. Can you see my mouse on the screen when I move it, guys? Do you see my mouse in the screen? Okay. So the one you see the mouse, this is Alif. It's equal to 1. L, Lam, equal to 30. Mean is equal to 40. The total will make a number. The number will make a word. As an example, the Quran in chapter 19 says, Kahayas. Ka is equal to 20. Ha is equal to 5. Ya is equal to 10. Ain is equal to 70. Sa is equal to 90. If we put them together, the number will be equal to Christ is my God. And this is why we find it in a place which have a very much connection with Jesus. Do you see it? Kahayas. If you ask a Muslim, they don't know what does that mean. So, in the very chapter of Mary, the chapter is about Mary. The first word saying, Kahayas, those are letters, they have no meaning. But if we calculate the numbers, we will come to the conclusion that Christ is my God. For this is what the number is equal to. So Muhammad the fool, he stole those numbers, he put them in his book, he do not know what they mean, until now the Muslim do not know what they mean. That's why you see the Muslim says, Allah alone knows their meaning. And you need to ask yourself, why Allah will tell them something they do not know, what, what the point? All right, I hope I answered you about this one. And you will find that all of those letters, they are connection. Muhammad stole them from the Aramaic. Those letters, that's why he used them, but he did not know. So he he is copying somebody. Somebody he wrote this book. Most is what I'm offer. And he is talking about Mary. So he start with, Kahayas. Muhammad, he saw there Kahayas, he put it there. He didn't know what they mean. He himself did not know. And this is the amazing thing, by the way, about uh, the stupidity of Islam. You ask a Muslim, what Kahayas mean? What they say to you, Allah only knows. That means Muhammad himself, in his lifetime, he could not answer what those mean. And I am sure the Muslim, they ask him, what those mean? He told them, Allah knows best. Why? Because he is not a prophet of God, and he is just copying somebody else. Otherwise, you have to give me connection between those letters and the story of Jesus. What is the connection? Do we have any Muhammadan? Hello? Hello? Uh, can you hear me? I do hear you, go ahead. Uh, so first of all, I'm a Christian, I'm from Syria. I oh. speak Arabic. All right. Uh, but uh, can you make it just more clear, like uh, Kahayas? Uh, how can we use the code to make it uh, like uh, Jesus is God? Or, it or is, what you're saying? I didn't understand that part. All right. If you go back, if you check the, the numbers, let us go back to the numbers. <coughs> the numbers, it says, Ka is equal to 20, Ha equal to 5. Okay. Yeah. So you put those numbers, and then you make a sentence by, by the equality of the numbers. They will come as, Al-Masiyuhi Ilahi. 
Christ is my God. I have it in my, you can, read, you can read my book, you can see it. If you have my book, you can see the details about it. Uh, which one? Which book? Uh, you have many, but you can go to the, I think this is in the Deception of Allah. Which volume? I think the, yeah, Deception of Allah is the number one. Oh, okay, I already bought that one, but I, I yeah. didn't reach that part we we're talking about. No. Okay. Yeah. And you can even search online, there's many websites already copying what I said many times, you know. Okay, and, okay. and you will see the details. Okay. And no, no, those those details is not only exposed here. They are, you know, we can like, you know, we can expose many things about, about those issues. <clears throat> like, uh, as an example, Yasin. <clears throat> if you go to the chapter Yasin. Chapter 36. Verse number one. Yeah, seen. If you ask any Muslim, they don't know what is that. What yeah, seen. These letters are one of the miracles of the Quran. <laughs> Imagine, you know. Yeah, is a word mean God. Sin is the name of the God. Yeah, sin. God sin. Sin is the moon god. As simple as that. So all those numbers are, they sound like a code. Yeah, there are some of them. But this one is not a code, really. It's not just two letters. There are two words. Yeah, seen. This is why the Muslim, which is funny, when they read it, they say seen, you know. Here they say yes. Yeah, seen. Yes, yeah. No, yeah. But yeah. Uh huh? <coughs> yeah, I know. But it is Yasin. You know, every, every Muslim, when they say decide, they say Yasin, right? Even, right? even they have a name, is Yasin, correct? Uh, I'm not sure about this actually. You said you are from Syria? Yes. You never heard of Yasin Bakush? <laughs> Who? Yasin Bakush? No. The, 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 the guy who go with the, this guy, the comedian. Yeah, anyway, you can search. The name Yasin is very popular between Muslims. Okay. All right. You're welcome, my friend. Do we have any Muslims? Okay. You're welcome. Uh... Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? What happened to the Muhammadan these days? <clears throat> Any Muslim he ate fig wanna join us? Anyone? And by the way, when the Muslims they speak about miracle number 19 and all those fabrication, even the Muslims now, after we get them busted, they don't dare even to mention it no more. But in a certain time, you know, uh, it became like the video of the cat don't walk in the Quran. <laughs> and you know, people are stupid, you know, they believe whatever the Muslim they say. But all those miracles the Muslim they claim is absolutely false. Like chapter nineteen, chapter one, verse number one, have nineteen letters. Anyone who speak Arabic a little bit, he will find this is absolutely false. In Arabic, there is no bism, there is bism. So they took the letter alif out. 
And even the Muslims agree. There's no bism. It is bism. So number one letter. So now that 19 became 20. Allah have something we call in Arabic shadda. Shadda mean, if you see in the top of the letter, there is like a cheese sign, you know, like three teeth, you know, small ones. The second you see those in the top of a letter in Arabic, that means those letters are two, not one. So a Persian guy, he's not even an Arab, uh, according to Muslims, that's what they say. He came with a solution for the Arabic language. It was very messed up. Arabic language have no dots, no B, no, like you don't know the difference between B and T. You don't know the difference between any, you know, uh, Ain or, or Reen. So he added things to the language to fix and make it easier to read. Same he did here. Uh, he added those uh, valves in the top of the letters in order to make it easier to write. So Allah have the letter L in the middle, have two letters. I don't know why I cannot zoom much. Let us see if I can zoom more. Let us see, see, hold on. I will use my magical power. Oof, look at this. You see my mouse, guys? You see it? I don't know really what you see exactly. Let me see in, in uh, I don't think you see my mouse. Do you see my mouse? No, you don't see my mouse. At least on YouTube, they don't see it. So, the letter in the middle of Allah, and the one have like three, it's like a sharp sword, little tiny one. Yeah, let me see if I can highlight. No, not this part. It's hard to highlight the middle letter. It's not helping me. Yeah, it's hard. Okay, the letter before this one, the one, the one I highlighted, the one in the middle. You see, those sharp teeth here, those mean there's three letters. There, there, there is two letters. Here, here, this part, Ra. You will see in the top of it, this is small, sharp saw, you know, like a saw, like a knife with teeth. The second you see it in the top of any Arabic letter, that means the letter is two letters. So, Ar-Rahim, not Ar-Rahim, Ar-Ar-Ar, two, actually it's more, more than even two, Ar-Ar-Rahim, so, but to, to be accurate in the calculation is two letters, so every one of those is two letters, so now look what happened, and not only to mention this, here, we have Ar-Rahman, here, you see this thing in the top, the, the one like a dagger coming down, this is an alif, this is a letter, the Muslim they wrote it down small, it's just for our art, uh, artistic way, but it is a letter. So now we add here in Bism, Bism, after the Ba, there's Alif, they took it off for recitation. So now the 19 became 20. Allah, there's two L, the 20 became 21. Uh, Arra is two. The 21 became 22. Alif in Ar Rahman. The 22 became 23. Tura in Ar Rahim. The 23 became 24. So all the, the claim of the miracle of the Quran, 19 letters, is destroyed from the start of the first verse. And the same goes for all their calculation. They are a hypocrite. There's a video made by, uh, what is his name? <coughs> I forgot his name. Hold on, let me try to remember his name. Muslim apologist. He claimed that he had knowledge, supposedly. Let us see the pictures, so maybe I can find the name. Muslim apologist. Uh, Nauman Khan maybe, something like that, is that correct, Nauman Khan? Khan something, you know, maybe Nauman Khan, let us see. So he, in his, in, he, he, he was talking supposedly about the miraculous Quran. And he mentioned how those letters work. So if the Muslim, they say Christian Prince is lying, 
Well, go watch this video. <laughs> yeah, Nu'man Khan, Nu'man Ali Khan, Nu'man Ali Khan. Yeah. And he speak about miraculous uh, letters on the Quran. I'm not too much, uh, YouTube is not too much friendly with me to play your video for them so we can laugh. But I can bust them in two seconds with their lies. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? Yeah, I am selecting the text. It's uh, this is the best I can do. All right. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Mayday, Mayday. How do you do? If you cannot defend Muhammad, shame on you. I swear by the fig, I can debate you. Who is a Muslim? He swear by the fig, he can debate. He can defeat Christian prince. Hmm? Who is a serious mujahid from ISIS who swear by the fig of Allah? By the way, is it the fig of Allah? I cannot say so. Because if Allah swear by the fig, obviously this is not his fig. Unless the fig is his son or something. You challenge me? Okay, why you don't join us, Mr. Challenge me? I challenge you, CP. Okay, and what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Ask permission from your wife, please, before you join. I'm afraid of you. Show me your link. What link you want me to show you? What this guy is talking about? Any Muhammadan? People are rumble. How are you doing? Are you rumbling there? Everything is good. Stay tuned, by the way. At the end of the video, we will give you versions. And if you are a female, eh, you know, we will give you makeup, okay? <laughs> Live with it. <laughs> you know, once I was in the Philippines doing a seminar, and a Muslim woman, <clears throat> they, you know, in the Philippines, they brought for me a bunch of Muslims, and one of them, she was supposedly, they call her princess. You know, supposedly she is descended from Sultan, something. I think they are originally from Indonesia. So I was in the territory where Muslims are like big in number. I don't know if anyone here is from the uh, Philippines. So there was a, you know, a girl. Supposedly she is a princess. She is descended from the Sultan family. And she have like a bunch of people around her, around the princess. But for me, I have no princes. I mean, at the end of the day, I am the only prince there, at least at, least at that time. <laughs> so, a girl, she said, <clears throat> she's a Muslim, you say that Allah, he promised nothing to Muslim women. This is not true. Isn't it Prophet Muhammad, he says, that women in heaven, they will be 70 times more pretty? And this girl was so excited to get me busted. So I said, um, is that hadith is sahih? She said, yes, it's sahih. So I said, okay. And I have a board actually in the stage with me, whiteboard, so I can write on it. Uh, like uh, the software I'm using right now doesn't help me really to... Uh, to use this uh, drawing software. 
I mean, I can use it, but it doesn't show the software will not copy, will copy only the page you see in the screen. So anyway, so I put for her in the screen, I say, let us say there is a you, what's your name? I forgot her name. Let us say Fatima. Uh, she is uh, funny, Fatima is a pretty. Aisha is twice more pretty than Fatima. Uh, Lulu is a three times more pretty than uh, Aisha. And then all of you, you go to heaven and you will become 70 times more pretty. Is that what you are prophet saying? She said, yes. It's okay, let's do this. So you are, you are, the, one, you are the lowest in, in, in the pretty now in earth. Aisha is twice more than you. Lulu is a three times more than you. So now we will do X70. So what happened? Nothing changed. You were ugly in earth. You are still ugly in heaven. Lulu is a three time, three X70 time more pretty. Aisha is two X70 more pretty. And you one X70 pretty. Nothing changed. You were ugly in earth. You are still ugly in heaven. Where is the promise for you? In the top of that, not only this promise is stupid because nothing changed. Because remember, uh, beauty is uh, uh, you know like relative to something else. So if you are seven, it, like if you became seventy times more pretty, but this is goes for every Muslim woman, that means nothing changed. You you were let us say uh, uh, you know short or tall or whatever still 70 time for everybody so nothing changed in the top of that what kind of a promise this promise is if you became pretty what you get from that beauty nothing you you are just a sex toy you yourself you are just a sex toy so even your beauty the one you are talking about is not a gift it's a curse somebody is going to do boom boom to you someone you don't even know Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan want to come and talk, talk to us? And by the way, if you want, you can you can even dance over the questions. I mean, because Muslims always, when I debate them, they dance on the questions. In the month of Ramadan, by the way, rats and mice, they are happy because a lot of food in Muslim countries, especially in Gaza right now. Did you see the news of your news? Muslims in Gaza are so happy to welcome Ramadan. I mean, look, this is your news controlled by the Arab in Arabic. You know, I see it in Arabic. They are so happy to welcome Ramadan. I mean, what was what Doug talking about? I mean, <laughs> I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> I'm happy too. Okay, the month of eating and the month of violence. Let us see how many people will die in the month of Ramadan. How many people will be killed in the month of Ramadan? How many children will be kidnapped from their families in the month of Ramadan? The month of violence and hatred. That is the truth about Ramadan. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan in the bushes? No need to say those things. Muslim women stink like camel urine. There's no need for a stupid message like that. There's people they stink everywhere. Joe Biden, he stink and he claimed to be Christian. Democrat Party, they stink and they are not Muslims. 
their brain is stinky. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Today we are out. There's no Abdul today. I don't know. I don't know. We are out of Abdul. So we come back later at night, you know. Maybe we can get more lucky with Abdul. People we are listening now, where are you from? Can you introduce yourself? Which country? Can let us see this time is good for who? I think this time is good for people in Europe, maybe. And maybe some in Asia because it's getting late for Asian people. USA. Romania, Germany, England, South Africa, Greece. Okay, okay. It's time for me to introduce myself. I'm a Christian prince. I'm black, blonde, African, American from Japan. Nice to meet you all. Thank you. All right, all right. All right, all right. Portugal, Portugal. I mean, what? That's it? Are you going to flood the chat now? Where are you from? <clears throat> Okay, by the way, I wasn't looking at the chat, to be honest with you. So let us repeat again. Can you introduce yourself, which country you are from? <clears throat> USA, Kenya, and Antarctica? Man, you are cold. Oh, boy. Okay, UAE, uh, Iraq, Greece, Italy. Oh, Alberto, Pizza, brother. Hey, Tony. Okay, Greece, Netherlands, Uganda. I never heard of a country called Uganda. That's a good one. Armenia. All right. California. You are from California. I feel sorry for you. I mean, is that a state to live in? I mean, you can't even ship anything to California. This product is not allowed to be shipped to California. I mean, those can, this state have coding. I think they have code about everything. What the heck? But you live in California. What's wrong with you? I mean, from USA, all of it, you could not find a place to live in it except California? With those weirdo? I feel sorry, brother. Do you need donation or anything? Any help? Is there something we can do for you? Guys, this guy living in California, we need, we need to give him support. I'm serious. California, you know? <laughs> <laughs> in California now they allow people who they are illegal immigrant to have mortgage to buy house <laughs> and local they cannot have a house I mean, imagine you are a citizen you pay your tax like a mule and then you cannot get a mortgage because you don't have enough sufficient money to pay and then an illegal immigrant who just came yesterday he can apply for a loan and the bank they have to approve him <laughs> Welcome to California. <laughs> oh, stupidity is amazing. I love it. But anyway, anyway. So it looks like we have people from around the world. <clears throat> yeah. I, I did not see anyone from Canada. Where is Canadian? There's no Canadian here. From Gambia. Welcome, my friend, from Africa. <coughs> oh, there is people from Canada. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are lucky you have a Trudeau. I mean, look at Trudeau. He made he made the minister of immigration a Muslim. <laughs> and Muslims are coming from everywhere to Canada. <laughs> oh boy. Canadian, you have the right choice. I'm telling you. You're choosing the right guy. I mean, he's handsome. According, I saw a Canadian woman. She said, I voted for him because he's handsome. I mean, those Canadians are so smart. Man, oh man. Super intelligent. Oh boy. But Americans are not smarter. I mean, like, like they vote for, for Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden. You know, I want to know how it works. If Joe Biden became president, what is stopping me from being a president? I mean, look at the fool. I don't know what's wrong with this country. 
And Camila Harris, she became the vice. I mean, look. <laughs> like, what? This woman, she go to her funeral and she is laughing. Let us change the topic. Otherwise, you will make the liberals upset and they will send me Antifa. And then if Antifa come to me, I will make them Antifa double. Any Mohammedan? We want Muslims, no Christian, no Christian. Guys, Christian, don't come to the stage. We want customers. What are you doing? We want Mohammedan. Muslim now it's Ramadan. They ate too much. Did Ramadan start? Did Ramadan start or not yet? Started? Okay, perfect. Now the Muslim he come to the mic, he will say, Christian friends, I ate too much. And I can't really debate you because oh I feel so sleepy. I ate too much a lot of food. And we are fasting by the way. Hey, Abdul, what you ate? Uh, my mom, she made uh, only small turkey and half of a goat. And my sister, she made big baklava. Oh, my stomach is hurting. By, by the way, my dad, he passed away. You asked me about my dad. He died last month, uh, last year in Ramadan because he ate too much. So I'm being careful now, I should not eat. According to the studies, in Ramadan, a lot of Muslims die from heart attack. Why? Because Ramadan make, like, disturb, very disturbing change of earth system. Cause blood pressure, heart attack, uh, strokes, all kinds of a crazy stuff, thanks to the month of Ramadan. Not to forget the violence, and you can, by the way, don't listen to me. You can search right now in Google. Search right now, why in Ramadan, uh, uh, like heart stroke, 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 uh, go skyrocketing. Search, search, you know, search or violence or anything. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Well, we will not keep you long today, and I'm trying to give my, my voice a break so we don't lose it, so I can come back later maybe. So I will give my voice some break. You guys, you want me to come back? Should I come back? Hold on. Let me check. There's a, a Muslim uh, writer. His name is Sheikh Isper. Yeah, the British people, they stole him. They say his name is Shakespeare, but he's a Muslim. His real name is Sheikh Esper. He said, to be or not to be is the question. So to come back or not to come back, to come back or not to come back, come back or not to come back, that is the question. <clears throat> Dino al Qazafi he made a speech. He was teaching them about famous Arab, and he mentioned Shakespeare. <laughs> Even Shakespeare, they made him an Arab, I made him a Muslim, and his real name is Sheikh Esper. <laughs> Hey, Kazafi, we miss you, man. I mean, where do you go? I mean, and this guy, he have a lot of money from the oil. So he go to Africa and he give checks to every leader in Africa. And then they voted that he is the king of kings of Africa. Um, and the guy is so proud. Um, you know, just give money, fool. And those corrupt leaders of Africa, they just, man, they will give you any title you want. Just send us a couple of millions of dollars, man. So all the... Leaders of Africa, they elected al -Qaz I'm not joking, by the way. You can search it. I'm not making things up. They gave him a title, the King of Kings of Africa. Money, my friend, money. So he was making a speech, and he says, al kadaf sorry, he said, Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a Muslim, and his real name is Shakespeare. The word democracy is coming from the word democracy. Democracy means bring the chairs. This is an Arabic word. So even democracy is coming from the Muslims. Bring the chairs. Like, what the heck? It turned to be we are, and by the way, he's not even an Arab. This guy is in Libya. He's in Africa. He's claiming to be an Arab. <clears throat> and by the way, I find it very funny 
that any Muslim terrorist who want to control a country, he claim he is descendant from Muhammad. And then the Muslim, they say, <clears throat> Let me do this. Arab leaders. Descendant from Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Let us see. Arab leaders, descendant from Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> I mean, this Google is just a stupid. All right. Let us show you. <clears throat> if I type Arab leader descended from Prophet Muhammad, what you will see. <laughs> you will not believe it. <laughs> Who? The Queen of England, brother. Look at this. She is a Muslim and she is descendant from Prophet Muhammad. Yes, yes, brother, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, the Queen of England, you know. The Queen of England related to Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I can find you Al Qazafi is descendant of Prophet Muhammad. Let us see, hold on. I mean, those people are really. All right. Actually, I, I think Al Qazafi is related to Muhammad. That's why he's so stupid. He is so stupid and handsome. And look at him. He is just holding the walkie talkie. <laughs> you know if the oil the Muslims they have came to Israel imagine what Israel can do with it this is what happened when you give birth to the fool look at them the guy he have even women bodyguards I like to have women bodyguards. And you notice that those bodyguards who they are with al Qaddafi, they are very, very, very protective. Look at the bodyguard of al Qaddafi. Hold on, let me show you an image. <laughs> No, I'm going to die with heart attack from laughing. What the heck is that, brother? If, 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 if. Al Qazafi is going down the plane? No way. What is that? I like it. You got to move it, move it. You got to move it, move it. Move it. Oh. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, he like uh, bodyguard women. What you can do? I mean, it, it uh, you know everybody have his own hobby. So I mean, it's normal thing, you know. Why not? You know. Yeah. So uh, and he bring them from every country in the world. You know, not necessarily they are from his country. There is from Europe, there is. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Forget it, forget it. You know, you should not laugh at somebody, otherwise Allah will make you look like him in the by the morning. Like there is a guy, he made fun of Allah, and he is a prophet. Uh, in the morning, Allah, he punish him and make him look like Christian prince. This is a true story. Actually, it's happened to me. <laughs> I 
I make fun of Allah and how stupid Muhammad is. And then I woke up in the morning, I saw myself and they were like, what, what happened? No way, please. And I ask Allah for forgiveness. And that's it. I'm stuck with this look forever. You know, please, Allah, please. That's okay. I will stop, you know, spanking Muhammad. Just, you know, make me a, a good looking like Zakir Naik as before. No way. You know, Allah, that's it. He said, the one who insult my prophet, that's it. You insult him once, hmm, bingo. You know, that's it. The point of no return. And since then, I start like having symptoms of other issues. Like when I speak, as an example, sometime, for no reason, I speak like this. But then, Tithar, if you don't believe me, I am a Christian, but by the void of Dakar Naik. Like, what the heck? What happened? So, I don't know. I mean, Allah, He promised the Christians, if they don't believe in Muhammad, He will erase their faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And He will make their eyebrows is gone. Imagine you are a Christian, you have no eyebrows. <laughs> and you have no nose. Actually, your nose in the back of your face. Unbelievable. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the Christians, actually, in the time of Muhammad, they woke up in the morning. Every single one of them. His, his mouth in the back of his uh, head. Yes. And his nose, too, is gone. But it's in the back. And their eyebrows. Allah, I face it. Look, look, look. Before we efface the faces by making them like back of the neck without nose. <laughs> what is my nose? What is that? What? Where is my nose? It's gone. Huh? Alhamdulillah, no more boogers. <laughs> True story. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, religion of the fools. And by the way, Muslims, none of those Christians lost their nose or their toes. And your God threat was a potato. Blank. Like your prophet when he had sex with his wives. He never shoot right. All of it was blank. The prophet used to do boom boom to all his wives in one night. And then none of them she got a bread. What you were doing, Muhammad? You were shooting what? Did you use an emission from the Hollywood? What you were shooting? And shooting at what exactly? That is a different scenario. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Sadly, today we have no Muslims. I will try to come back later, <clears throat> give my voice a break. And uh, uh, I, I hope that uh, people will not laugh at Islam listening to me. This is not my intention, absolutely. You know, I respect Allah a lot. If you don't believe me, I swear by the fig. <laughs> okay, I, I, I can't tell. You guys don't believe me. Okay. I swear by the fig, I respect Allah. I gotta be more serious. Allah Himself swear by the fig, and now I swear by the fig. So why you don't believe me? The fig must be the true God. Because if Allah swear by fig and I swear by the fig, let us make a religion. It's called the fig religion. When God He swear by fig, that is telling you the benefit of the fig. By the way, you can search right now, you will find a lot of scientific benefits. Seriously. I'm not against fig, I love fig. But I'm trying to figure out why Allah used the word fig to swear by it. I think because it's coming from the word English, figure out stupidity. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, maybe tonight. Until then, God is good, so is Jesus. I mean to that. And Islam is nothing but a big fat lie. And if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? How foolish are you? See ya.